Hello and welcome to Rector. Right, so today we're just going to install and set up everything up and get the configuration all sorted. Okay, so head over to github.com uh, rectorphp forward slash rector. Uh, once you're there, just scroll down and you'll come across this detailed readme file. Uh, we just want the composer, the installation. Okay, so let's head over to the project. Uh, this is literally, I just created this. It's a Symfony application, uh, just a bare skeleton. There's, there's nothing in it um, and it's completely empty. Um, so what we want to do is paste that command in the command line and hit enter and install Rector. Okay, so the installation is now complete. Uh, what we can now do is we can, in the root directory, uh, we can create a rector.php file. Um, and this is the config file uh, where we define the configuration for, uh, for rector. So let's head over to uh, rector again. And if we just scroll down a little bit, we will see this uh, snippet of code uh, which is an example of the rector.php that you can use. So we'll just copy that and we'll paste it in. Um, and let's just go through it for a second. Uh, we don't need to know what line 14 does. We don't really care. Uh, we need to know what line 17 is doing. So line 17 um, is essentially defining what sets of rules we're using and it basically Re rector works on a, a way of you have sets and each set has multiple rules and those rules will do something so for example in this set code quality there's lots of rules which um, are all about code quality and they'll fix your your code um, uh, to make it of high quality um, so what we can do is we can um, add to this it's an array so we can uh, set list and we can um, as you can see the autocomplete comes up and gives us lots of options of what sets we can use um, for now we will just keep it uh, to code quality and we'll move on so uh, we don't need to know what this is doing uh, it's pulling in some service we don't really care right um, what we do want to know is what this one's doing. So here we can define individual rules. So if each set is made up of multiple rules, um, this is where we can define just one rule. So this is defining a rule typed properties. Uh, so essentially that would fix if you don't have, um, if your properties don't have a type, it will give them a type. Okay, so let's now run Rector, but we have nothing to run it on, right? Um, and and before we run it, we need to we need to state in here. We need to add a little bit more code, and we need to state where we want it to run. I'll just paste it in. Um, here, what we're doing is we're defining the paths that we want to run. So it's an array, so we can add multiple uh, paths. For now, we just have it running in the source directory, which we have here, right? But there's no code to actually run on at the moment. So let's go over to the command line and we will type in console bin um, make. We will make an entity. Okay. Ah. I always get them confused. Bin console make entity <laughs> okay so we'll create an entity let's call it a uh, product product okay so that's that now if we go over to the source directory uh, we can see in here we now have a product uh, file product PHP um, and in in which it's just defining what we, we created. I, I knew there was a typo in there. Um, we'll just leave it for now. Um, and then in the repository directory, uh, it's also created a, a product repository. Um, 
for us using the maker bundle. Okay, excellent. So now what we can do is we can run Rector because we have something to run it on. So we can do that by saying vendor bin Rector process. Okay, so Rector's finished. Um, here we can see what rules have applied. Um, if we just open this up a little bit. And we can see that it's added in the types for the properties in the entity uh, product class, uh, which is fantastic, right? So it's done that automatically for us. We don't have to go in there and do it manually. So if we go to that file, um, we will see the changes in there. And yes, it's added it in. And that is how we install and set up Rector on a project. Happy coding!